Hello everyone! So today we're going to be taking a look at all of the pen cases and pen pouches that I have. We're going to start with the pen cases. These are all zipper pen cases and most of them have pens in them. So we'll start with my favorite of these uh, and that is the Galen Leather pen pouches. I really like the way these are made. I like the zippers that they use. I like the leather and I like the design of them. These are probably my most favorite. These are the 10 pouch, 10 pen pouch case. And I like how small and compact everything is. So to be able to hold 10, 10 pens in this very slim streamlined case is quite nice. And I use these. These tend to be empty because I use them when I travel. It's nice to have a little bit of extra protection and be able to carry a lot of pens and not take up a whole lot of space. I think I, I can't remember if I've already said this, I like the metal zipper that Galen Leather uses. Um, my only, the only thing that I would appreciate is a secondary elastic band that the other pen pouches I have have. Um, and these flaps, which are really great to prevent your pens from rubbing against each other, do tend to get stuck a lot in the zipper, so you just have to be mindful of that. And you can see sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to zip up. Still, as an overall design, they are my favorite. And then this is really incredible just because it holds so many pens. So right now my pens are divided by region, although I think I'll go back to my original way of organizing, which was modern versus vintage, and I prefer keeping it that way. Um, but right now everything in here is US made except for this little maybe Todd Swan there. But as you can see, it has the flaps. These flaps stay clear of the zipper, so I haven't had to worry about them getting stuck at all. And then there's this middle flap here. It's kind of like a book. And it's just, it's fantastic. I would really like to get another one of these and combine all of my pens into one. The only thing that I'm not fond of is, well, I mean, it's, it's big, it's a bulky, piece, but it holds 40 pens, so I can deal with that. Um, but that's the, the Velcro. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Velcro in general, but it functions really well. It, it serves the purpose that it needs to, so it really isn't a deal breaker for me. This is, well, both of these are from Goulet Pens. This is an Aston Leather 10 slot, and this was the very first pen pouch that I bought for my collection. Uh, I'm not fond of the overall look of it, and I, I don't care for the plastic zipper. Oops. But what it does have that I do appreciate is it has the secondary elastic, and it just holds the pens in better, I think. So I do like that design. I'm not fond of the, the velvet, even though it's super soft, it does attract everything. And so it tends to look kind of dusty and dirty and dog hairy. Um, and I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm not terribly fan of the, yes, that doesn't actually have a home. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the the overall look and the color of the leather. It functions really well and it serves its purpose. So it's really neither here nor there, honestly. And then, so I had originally purchased this thinking this would be the extent of my fountain pen collection. Uh, clearly I was very wrong. And so I upgraded, I bought a 20 slot pen pouch thinking that would then be the extent of my collection. And so here is a great example of that snap, which I really do prefer over the, the Velcro. But again, there is a plastic zipper. This one, I can never pronounce the name of, but I also bought it off of Goulet Pens. And again, this is a 20 pen slot. 
So this has also the double elastic, which I do really like. I'm not a fan of the lining. I like the, the look of it, but it just feels like you can see how it just looks like uh, it was <laughs> like pieces of cardboard with glued on fabric. That's what it feels like. So I'm not too particularly fond of that design, but overall it's a, it's a, serves its purpose. I do like the exterior leather and I like the, the size of this one. I would be interested to try the Galen leather 20 pouch one of these days. So that's those. And then we have just random zipper bags and whatnot. Oh, I just realized we were missing one of the pen pouches that is in use right now. And this is my favorite pen pouch. This is a Hurlstone pen pouch from a seamstress in New Zealand. And oh man, I just love the fabrics that she uses so much. I, I've had this one for years. It had a big pen leak at one point, but the, the fabrics are just gorgeous and she always lines them with the most plush, luxurious fabric on the inside as well. And so these are the currently inked fountain pens. She advertises these as a two pen, two slot pen pouch, but you can fit four comfortably if you do not mind your fountain pens touching. And I have done this many times and, and it works. It has a little back pocket, which I have used to tuck in a cleaning cloth in case there's a spill <laughs> or uh, even a box of cartridges. There was even one point when I tried to carry my credit cards in there thinking I'd use this as a wallet and a pen cap pouch because that's how much I love this thing. But um, yeah, that didn't really work very well. The, the cards just fell out all the time. So. So anyways, this is one of my favorites. Really love this fabric and the way it feels. These two are the very first pen pouches that I ever bought when I was a very young adult uh, and before the days of using fountain pens. Um, I don't remember which one came first. I found these at local shops, but these two are actually currently still in use, which is cool. So I have random pens in here that I'd never use uh, because I don't use anything but a ball, uh, fountain pen. Um, I was interested in the Saras Eclipse because I like the, de the design of them and I love all the different colors that they come in, but I just don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way they the ink looks on the paper. I'm very spoiled with fountain pens, to be honest. Um, I've used fountain pens exclusively for so many years now that when I hold a regular pen, it just, I don't know how to hold it anymore and it feels really awkward in my hand and my penmanship suffers. This I just found in a wash, but it works and so I kept it. This I did have fun with just for a brief moment. Um, it's a, it's the first time I ever experienced like a soft um, brush point, I guess you would call this. If I ever have to use a ballpoint pen, and really the only time I ever have to is when I am writing on the carbon paper, copy paper, uh, because you have to press down hard. And while I do have a manifold nib, which would be perfect for that, I don't always have it inked up. So I do use this pen a lot for that purpose only. <laughs> and I really like, I don't know, I yeah. I don't need to go on and on about my fountain pen obsession, but here is my other one. And this is actually a sewing kit. So I have my embroidery floss and wax and needles and a little pair of scissors and a scrap of buckskin that my partner tanned himself. And then this one is from Lindock on Etsy. And I love the materials that she sources for her pen pouches. I love the zippers. They're really nice zippers. And the design of these pouches, I like that they're lined. It's just, they're really beautifully made pouches. I 
haven't used this as a pen pouch, actually. I'm not a big fan of having my fountain pens just kind of like loose in a space. I don't mind if they're touching as long as they're held in place, but if they're just kind of rolling around in a bag, I'm not terribly crazy about that. So I've actually used this as a travel kit for like the bathroom uh, with a toothbrush and toothpaste and floss and, and things like that. And that's worked well for that. This just came in a Galen leather zip up folio that I have, but sometimes I use it um, for my desk pens, but these are just, so these are fountain pens. Um, because I use fountain pens exclusively, sometimes uh, when addressing like an envelope, for example, or a postcard, um, it's nice to have a permanent ink. And since I don't particularly care for writing with permanent inks all the time, um, I have these Twisby pens that I always have inked up with a permanent ink for such occasions. This I bought in a store <laughs> somewhere in Tucson and I, I liked the size of it. It's nice and small and it was just enough to put in a few things and I feel like I, I, I don't know. It's nothing special. This is a beautiful pen pouch uh, by the Superior Labor and I have used it plenty but again I just I just don't feel comfortable having my pens loose in the case. I really like the design of this. I love the leather used. I love the zipper. It's it's beautiful. Um, so sometimes what I use it for is like a little, you know, accessory pouch. An X-Acto knife and a tiny ruler and some scissors and glue. And that actually works really well. And I'm happy. You can see the ones that I've used a lot all have some kind of pen stain. This is one that I made um, for the Hobonichi Weeks, and then it has a little front pocket to clip some pens into. Um, but I haven't been traveling like this because I usually just leave my planner at home. I don't need to take it around with me. And then this is another favorite of mine, and this is the Superior Labor pen roll. And I just love, I love everything about this thing. <laughs> it's so beautiful. The hardware is gorgeous. The leather is just absolutely delicious. I like the design. I, I just really love this. I wanted this pen roll for a very long time, but was not willing to spend the money on it just because it is really expensive. And I'd rather buy a pen for that money. <laughs> and so I never bought it, but then I had an opportunity to do a trade. And the person I traded with, this was actually brand new at the time of, of the trade. Um, and I swapped for some pens that I was selling. And now you can see there's a lot of stains. <laughs> um, actually, an eraser. So yeah, this was worth the trade um, and probably, I don't know, I can't say if it's worth the money. I mean, it's well made, um, but there's other products that are well made that are less expensive. I think with this company, you're paying a lot for the branding uh, for sure, um, but it is beautiful and I love this leather and there's nothing quite like it in my opinion. These two for smaller pen pouches are my favorite. And then for the big pen cases, the Galen leather is definitely a go-to. So that is everything. Thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.